Okay, hopefully this is working. Um, we tried finding a picnic table to sit at, but we're at this tiny little table and people are staring at us, but we don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> Did we have this issue like, we had this issue with our so, first video. Um, <laughs> it's Jackie and Michelle here. Otherwise, no, it's going this way. Michelle yeah. and Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> um, otherwise known as Miss A and Miss St. Hilaire, if you remember from our coffee talk video, we decided to do a video on what it's like being a teacher. Yep. And so um, I think a really cool name would be Real Talk with teachers and sometimes with coffee. Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be real talk, real teacher talk, real and teacher. sometimes with coffee. Yep. But we don't have coffee right now. <laughs> so we're actually at um, we're gonna talk about what it was like being a student teacher. And I find that there's not a lot of videos out there. What was it going to fall? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> there's not a lot of videos out there about um, Student, student teaching. teaching. Yeah. I, I think any kind of YouTube video or teacher account out there is directed towards the teachers already. There's well, not a lot of videos out there for student teachers per se. Mm -hmm. It's more like seasoned teachers giving advice. teacher advice and they're like, oh, well, I was teaching like 10 years ago. Well, and this happened. It's like, well, that is not relevant to our yeah. kids in this generation today that we're teaching. So like... Well, thank you for that advice that I will not use. <laughs> <laughs> so we just think that this might actually help some student teachers that are out there right now. Yeah. Just trying to relate with what we went through because yeah. we just recently graduated. So what were some what were some struggles that you went through over the last two years? I think for me was um, struggling with the idea of starting fresh and I, I had I overanalyze everything and I thought you know like what am I gonna do with all my stuff where am I gonna find all my lesson plans what am I gonna do and I just learned that it's all like based on your creativity really so and like the resources that your uh, cooperating teacher have and what you find online and the internet is your best friend mm -hmm. and like that'll be your one thing that I, that's what I used as well as resources from other people um, but yeah that and like the <laughs> the technology that is erupting in classrooms today like the cell phones and that kind of thing mm -hmm. and like the idea of the students thinking that they are the best and like they are all awesome but the idea that they are privileged is the word that I'm looking for yeah privileged kids and that kind of thing is a little bit hard to wrap your head around and but for that was pretty much it for me what about you um it's funny that you mentioned the privilege thing because i had an interview last week and we got on that subject yeah. um because i was asking the principal what kind of what kind of community i'm looking at within the school and we got on the topic of how you know sometimes you'll find those privileged students mm -hmm. everywhere so it was really interesting yeah. <laughs> but i think some challenges that i found was that like I've worked in the school system for a long time mm -hmm. so I kind of knew what was happening but I think the problems lied and don't get me wrong I mm -hmm. loved our instructors oh, definitely. they were really yeah. really good however sometimes some of the practices that they would teach <laughs> us were like super old like when and they're we old pedagogy <laughs> And then you go and you try to implement them in Doesn't your work. class. And right. then you have your cooperating teacher saying, what the hell is this? Like, <laughs> this is what I learned in class. This is yeah. what I'm supposed to be using. Well, and then really worked. <laughs> I, like my CT my first year, so we have cooperating teachers. I don't know what you guys call them if they're supervising teachers or collaborating teachers. So my CT my first year, um, I had gotten a real, I received a real bad mark on an mm -hmm. assignment. And I was like, why did I fail this? Like, I thought this was a great lesson. I actually oh, used yes. it. I, <laughs> I used this lesson and it worked, especially for this one class that I had. And so she looked at it and she said, what is wrong with this instructor? <laughs> this was the lesson you did last mm. week and it worked. And I said, I know. She says, do I have to call this guy? And so she just said, Sometimes that's what you're going to run into in university is it's not new teachers teaching university courses. It's, it's opinions. retired teachers who have been in the business for 
after many years. many years and they're still relying they like stay in their box and yeah that's the only place and they're still they're relying stay. on those old pedagogies and i think what they have to understand that this is 2017 mm -hmm. and you know over the last what 10 years things, have adjusted. things in the classroom have it exploded especially mm -hmm. with the introduction of technology yeah. when I was a kid we had to walk across we had to walk like five blocks to use a computer lab <laughs> before our school actually got <laughs> uh, computers <laughs> so just going from that to you know now there's iPads and mobile mobile laptop carts and kids have cell phones mm -hmm. all of my kids in my summer school class have an iPad, okay. so technology. Uh, no, they have an i. They have a phone. Yeah. So technology is not. It's it's, it's not hard to come across. So if there. I need to say to them, okay, here, let's use that. It's there, but it's just take what your professors mm -hmm. are saying with a and, grain of salt. Yeah, and it's okay if you do it differently inside yeah. the classroom once you're student teaching yeah. because you're going to find out what works for you yeah. and what doesn't work. And, and, you, and you learn that some of the assignments that you'll get you're never going to use them ever. Mm -mm. And like you just have to just suck it up and just do it to get a good mark. Yeah. So that's one thing that we can give you advice on is just when they give you an assignment just just it's easiest not to question why just do it and just get it done and get your mark and yeah. call it a day but I think one <laughs> Um, assignment that is really good for I think any mm. student teacher to do is a unit plan yeah even yeah, though we, we like complained about it it, it was it, really helpful yeah it does because then once you're done and you're in the teaching world and say you get hired for that job specifically you created the unit plan you can for use that you can use it so it's like a tool that you already have mm -hmm. um yeah. so that was kind of like my struggle mm -hmm. and then I think another struggle that I had was this past student teaching year where I had a couple of students who thought they were privileged oh, yeah. and this and I gave the example to the principal I had the interview with and I just he's like so how did you handle the issue and I said I leaned in and I whispered to him I said I'm a human being yeah. and I don't appreciate being treated, treated like, like that so yeah. if you want your assignment you better marked you better pick it up off the floor yeah. and hand it to me like a decent person yeah. that I know you are or the custodian is going to pick it up at the end of the day and throw it out and throw it out and <laughs> when you're looking for your mark I'm going to say There's well the custodian there. probably yeah. has it and it's at the landfill yeah <laughs> so um, I think that was a, a challenge too mm -hmm. yeah so what are some like good things that came out of your of your practicum experience <gasps> there's so many good things after at the end of the practicum that I like that feeling where you're just really sad that you're leaving. Mm -hmm. you, like even though you you had struggles and nights where you just come home and just cry because it's just like the worst day ever. And there will be nights when you do oh, cry. Yeah. And it, you feel so much better after. And like there is days where I'm going on a tangent, but there's days that I went to my CT and I just cried. But I think some of the good days were when you really saw the light bulb moment mm -hmm. with your students and they're just like that look on their face is just like the most thrilling thing for me and yeah and like even when you can just have a good time and joke around in class those are the really good times that I liked and and uh, you're gonna have some students where they're not so great and then some students where they're just awesome yeah. but uh, I said and you try and you have to try and um, find the good in those students that you're frustrated with and and like and don't give up on them. no don't because that's that's the worst thing to do and then you won't see them in class or they'll just have a negative attitude about everything but mm -hmm. yeah I think those were my great moments I think my great moments came out of a very serious situation so one of my cooperating teachers this past year had a stroke oh. and um, he was like, I'm so sorry, but I'm not going to be there for three weeks. And this is the first student teaching block after our first part of our term. Yeah. And <laughs> um, he said, you know, are you going to be okay with this? And I said, well, yeah, I think I am. And he goes, you know, the kids know you. They've known you since the beginning of September. So I went and I talked to the principal 
and the principal said to me, are you going to be able to do this? Because this is your last student teaching year and mm -hmm. I don't want anything to screw it up. Mm -hmm. And like, it would suck if we couldn't find you another cooperating teacher and then, you know, something, you might have to repeat it. And I said, well, I don't want to repeat it. Like, no, I'm almost yeah. done. Yeah. So we found um, the department head for, um, so I taught history and we found the department head and she's like, yeah, for sure, I'll sign all your paperwork and, and we'll talk about things. So how a good thing came out of that is I was able to bond with my students mm -hmm. and they were able to see that I'm a separate teacher from him and mm -hmm. that I don't take any crap and yeah. they could try to push all my buttons all they wanted. But they saw that, okay, maybe she isn't a pushover and we should start taking her seriously. So I was able to develop relationships with them. And, and it just, like, even with one of my most toughest class, and that was topic and science, because it was a diverse group of learners. Yeah. Still, like, I was able to create relationships with them. So I think that's one thing that you guys are going to find is even though you're going to struggle and sometimes you're going to wish you're going to give up, mm -hmm. you're going to create those relationships with your students to the point where you're, like, yeah. the last week of your block you're where like, you don't oh want to leave because yeah. they're awesome and they're begging you not to leave. Yeah. And so... And that moment where you, you hear back from your CT and they're asking where you are... Then one day after you're gone and <laughs> you start to laugh, but then you're just yeah. like, oh, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I know. My, my CT said, he goes, so I get a text message from him later in the day. And he goes, I was actually going to text you this morning to ask you where the hell you were. <laughs> but then I realized your last day was Friday and you're in an orientation meeting today. So I'm sorry for bugging you, but uh, where the hell are you? <laughs> so it's just nice being able to like have that. And yeah. my first year cooperating teacher, her and I have become really good friends. Mm. And I've been a substitute in her class many, many times. And yeah. just being able to develop those relationships with the teachers that have helped you. Um, I yeah. really, really relied on her over the last couple of weeks. Yeah. Because going into our second topic, trying to find a job. Mm. Well, for you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she found a job outside of the city and she leaves like End next month. So, so, and I'm still here looking. For, I have a find, job. I have a job. Something. Yeah. I'm a summer school teacher. I'm teaching awesome. grade 10 science. I'm having a lot of fun. Um, my students are having fun too. I, they're seeing the other side of what being a teacher, ca what mm -hmm. a teacher can do. So yeah. there's no test. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. Um, that's they're sweet. doing a final project on a current issue in science that's related to our units. Oh, sweet. So, and they're still trying to wrap their head around that. Yeah. Like I had an issue with a student last week, but the, just like, I, I don't know if it was an issue. I think that student was just really trying to understand how there's no testing. Like mm -hmm. I don't believe in standardized tests because I think you can be a really good, you can be a really good student and know the information, but yeah. when you have that test, you can just freak right out. Yeah. Blank so out. at least this way they're being creative when it comes to this project. Yeah. So I have a job for now. That's done that's in 15 good. days. And that's good though. You have the experience under your belt and yeah. that's good. And I think it so. looks good on, the reason why I took it when I, I, so I applied for it and then hold on, I got a notification. Boop. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> um, I applied for it and then I got a phone call and then they interviewed me and they offered me and I'm like, yeah. So I think it's really good experience to put on your mm, resume yeah. because usually yeah. student teachers that just graduate, the new teachers, right. they so. don't <laughs> It's a different view because what I didn't take into consideration is the sun was beating down on us and we had a hot temperature thing on there. So we relocated. We for relocated. Your benefit. Of and you. my phone is up against the Slurpee. So it's nice and cool. I'm hoping it works. Um, it should. We're in the shade now. Yeah. Now we just got to contend with people playing volleyball. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. So. Um, yeah, we were talking about finding a job. So yeah. Jackie found a job after quite a bit of searching. Um, it really is yeah. hard. Um, but, you know, you were fortunate enough to think about moving outside yeah. of the city because there are a lot of jobs outside yeah. of the city. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For me, I thought about it, but mm -hmm. I have a medical condition where if something drastic happens, I have to be around a major center. Mm -hmm. So... I was like, where well, I'm going, there is like a, there's a major center, but not like HSC major. Yeah, so I would have to be like <laughs> so, medivaced out. Yeah. 
So for me, I'm looking inside the city. I did apply to Gimli. Mm -hmm. I didn't get the job, but one uh, of our cohort members did. Okay. Um, Gimli's not that far from no. here. It's about 45 minutes, yeah. so it's not that bad. Yeah. Um, I think the one thing that I, I definitely yeah. can suggest is, um, I, my parents got this for me as a grad gift after uh, graduation. Uh, it was an interview coach and she uh, said to me, email me your cover letter and resume as is and I'll completely go over it, I'll fix it and I'll make it so it's really professional, like a teacher professional so then you'll be able to use it. So she took, took a few days and then I got it back and it was amazing and um, uh, I used that and applied, I got some calls yeah. and went for interviews. I didn't get those jobs, but I got uh, this job that I have now, and uh, yeah, like it was two or three interviews after I got my resume and cover letter fixed. And along with that, that lady, she does um, uh, interview coaching through Skype, and you sit there and you dress professional for your your interview, and she asks you questions based on your career choice. So for me as a teacher, she asked me questions as a teacher and they were all questions I got in interviews and I answered how I usually answered and she said, okay, this is a really good way of saying it, but we need to fix how you're saying it so it sounds better and uh, I wrote down some tips and that kind of thing and that was like the one thing that helped me. So if you ever have the chance to do that, it's, it's like saving grace, but don't yeah. get discouraged. If you, if you don't get calls, just keep trying. Put yourself out there, and that's the one thing in practicum for, for to, you to do is get involved, really get involved, know the staff, eat in the staff room at lunchtime, because then yeah. everybody will know you. That's what I did. And then and some teachers would tell, like some of our instructors would be like, avoid the, the staff, staff room, room. Don't avoid. Listen to them. It's, it's like, not well, that bad. No, I had some really good conversations yeah, with yeah. teachers. And it's just that you have to just really think smart and when they're starting yeah. to gossip, just don't get involved. Just, just don't say anything. That's And that's mm -hmm. just something that they do because, you know. They need their, to like get rid of their thing. stress, right? Yeah. So. so I've applied for now over 100 jobs and I was getting to the point where I was like, okay, am I... I know I'm qualified. I know I'm qualified. Yeah. It's just what is on my cover letter and my resume that's not that's catchy something. for them. Yeah. So again, I called my cooperating teacher from first year and I said, so, like, what is going on? There's yeah. got to be something in my resume and mm -hmm. my cover letter that's not catchy. Yeah. I said, because how many permanent teachers are already applying yeah. for these jobs because we have had some of our cohort members get the same jobs that I applied to yeah. and I'm like what's going on here yeah. so I I sent them off to her and she's like no it actually looks pretty good because when I started looking when we started doing our interviews in early right. this year yep. I got my cousin who's a teacher in Minneapolis to kind of like Oops. create my a cover letter for yeah. me and so she was able to use keywords mm -hmm. and I've been using that and then just recently I updated my resume to make it look professional and pop mm -hmm. and really um, outline the important f aspects of my teaching experience mm -hmm. so she looked at it and she goes no it actually looks really really good she goes I think it looks better than mine <laughs> and I've been a teacher for you know 11 Thank years you. So it's just, I think it's just patience yeah. and just, she's like, well, maybe, you know, maybe this is some kind of message saying mm -hmm. that this is not the division that you're going to be yeah. working in. You need to, maybe yeah. she goes, maybe the division you're working in for the summer school is going to be the division that you're going to get into. Yeah. Yeah. And so at the summer school, um, my friend who is a guidance counselor at the school during the regular school year, she is teaching math and science. And we were having a conversation last week and she says, you know what? I was having issues with that school division too. And then I got into this division. So mm -hmm. she goes, maybe you're kind of like following my path. Yeah. And that division, she goes, even though you want to be in that division, maybe it's just, it's not for you. Yeah. So, you know, you are gonna have to apply yeah. for jobs. I don't know how it is throughout the rest of Canada or the US mm -hmm. when it comes to um, the number of positions available right out of yeah. 
out of the gate or if mm -hmm. in the U.S. Because I know in some states in the U.S. you already have a job once yeah. you get yeah, out. So just like hang in Be there. Positive. It's frustrating. Enjoy the experience if you're in yeah. your last year. Enjoy the experience. That's I did enjoy my last year. Yeah. But that's one thing I would like to go back and tell myself is to not fret as much about it. Yeah. And um, when they when people tell you, oh no, it's early and it's May and it's almost the end of school year and you're like, I still don't have a job and all these people have a job. It's still early. <laughs> and I just found out that a lot of the jobs that are being posted now my name is probably on those lists it's mm -hmm. just that principals are not interviewing because it's the beginning of summer yeah. break and yeah. a lot of the teachers and principals might be out for summer break mm -hmm. yeah so i might get calls towards the end of mm -hmm. august or at the beginning of september and my ct from this year he said how he got his job was he um was on the sub list for the school division mm -hmm. um that i did my practicum in and the first day of school he got a call from his former practicum school, the principal, and goes, so what are you doing? And he goes, uh, nothing. And the principal says, do you want a job? And he goes, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. So what had happened is the teacher that he replaced retired. He went to the meeting the day before, the staff meeting the day before, and then retired the very next day. Wow. So. so that's how he got his job. Um, the, the teacher just decided he was no longer going to be um, a teacher. That's it. And that's how he got it. So you can definitely wait that long yeah. to get a job. So I think I'm just going to keep focusing on summer school mm -hmm. and just spend the next 14 days with my students and having a lot of fun. I have some yeah. awesome things planned. And then just enjoy my vacation. Yeah, definitely. And then, you know, worry, but still look for those jobs yeah. and apply for them. Yeah but to enjoy life and not be as so like yeah up, up and tight about it and because that's how I was <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's like how many times I say Jackie just calm down it's okay it's gonna be okay it's okay <laughs> but yeah you're gonna face those dilemmas where it's like I don't know if I'm good enough mm -hmm. you thought that you will yeah, get you, you will question yourself yeah like am I not good enough are you my are. strengths not good enough they it's are. just that maybe you're not just exactly what they're looking for and don't yeah. take that personally no. because you're a brand new teacher yeah so and it's okay it's it's just something that happens yeah it's all part of the experience and it they have they just have to judge you pretty much based on your resume is this person gonna be a good fit for the school mm -hmm. are they gonna be a good fit for the students in the school so it's it's okay that's just a part of that and the number one question I'm getting from a lot of principals is you know you're trained in high school why mm -hmm. are you applying for elementary well I'm trained in elementary too mm -hmm. as an educational assistant mm -hmm. but I guess they're trying to look at like were you trained in a university mm -hmm. and how would you do it are, are you just made for it yeah. so if you if your stream is high school and you're like oh I want to do middle years or early years just be prepared for those questions yeah. like yeah you're trained in high school how yeah. would you do well in an elementary years yeah. if you're not trained in, in that yeah. so just yeah. be prepared um yeah so just to highlight um, you're gonna have good days yeah <laughs> yeah and you're gonna and have bad, bad days. days and there know, might be more bad days than good yeah and the frustrating days where you're like why am i taking this class because you have to to get your degree but you like you just have to really just push through and you meet you meet some amazing people along the way and like that's the one thing that I am happy about I met uh, really awesome people that I I'm still friends with now yeah so. <laughs> and she got me a job out of our oh, first gosh. year yeah. we won't talk about that no, but um <laughs> yeah you meet interesting people yeah. um we, what yeah, else we got we really got lucky with our cohort we all ended up being really close and yeah, because I remember that first meeting. They're like, the 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 people there were like, you're gonna hate each other. Yeah, you're not gonna so competitive. Yeah, because everybody wants a job, and I don't know. We just we were more we, helpful than anything. Yeah, yeah, like if someone saw a job that fit our studies, they'd be like, hey, hey here's a job. A, yeah, go apply for it, and vice versa. You can versa. always ask everybody questions, and like you can vent to each other, and that was a nice thing that we yeah. all understood, and like, we all helped each other out, and. I know that like we 
have our, everybody will probably see it, but we have our Facebook group and that's like really awesome too because then I know like people getting jobs or yeah. sometimes we post funny things on there and that's just like awesome. So. Yeah, we even did like a little countdown yeah. <laughs> during our last week of student teaching and it's like, are we going to make it? Are we going to make it? Yes, we're going to make it. We're going to be fine. But yeah, so you're going to you're gonna have those good days. You're going to yeah. have those bad days. You're going to struggle yeah. even to find a job. Yeah. Um, I think one piece of advice is we've already touched on it. Find people with that are like just you. Mm -hmm. So yeah. find those friends, find what I call your teacher tribe. Yeah. And and not only in your class, social media is also too. Yeah. Like yeah. go on Instagram and yeah. you will find a lot of really cool teachers mm -hmm. on Instagram. I know I have. Um, teachers Pay Teachers is a really good resource. Yeah, yeah. You can find that. some free stuff on there. Okay Google free. is your friend too. <laughs> Yeah. For like free materials. Yeah. And don't be so, afraid to ask for materials yeah, too. Yeah. Because people are more than happy to share and uh, do that. And I know all my CTs this past year have been really good about sharing their stuff. Mm -hmm. and, and I probably will use it uh, later on in the future. And, and uh, some of the classes that you have are really helpful. And like I know when I'm going to teach, I'm bringing some of that stuff up with me to use and reference so that's the, those are like the one in few classes that you mm -hmm. really enjoy and maybe get peppermint patties for or oh my anything. gosh yeah <laughs> <laughs> one of our instructors if we did something good gave us peppermint patties from Costco <laughs> and some of us have actually implemented that in yeah. our own teaching yeah I think I want to do that this year so we love Dave oh god Dave is awesome yeah <laughs> so he's even at grad yeah. Really cool. <laughs> I, did you see I gave him a hug? Yeah. Like when we came after my name was called and I came across the straight stage and I came down the steps, right he was right there directing <laughs> us and I just like gave him a big Yay, hug. we made it. Yeah, because he, he was like he was really awesome. good at being just brutally honest yeah. about what it's like being a teacher. We had two Daves that were just awesome. really awesome. But and yeah. Like, we knew they both would be like really awesome too. Yeah. You know? So <laughs> that was really good. Yeah. Yeah, like my second year, I was like, okay, I'm ready to do this. Just throw me yeah. in a classroom already. I'm done. I don't want to be in We don't need any more of these classes. These classes but like, sure enough, that one was pretty useful. And the if you day. have an early morning class like we did, uh, 8.30. Coffee is your best friend. Coffee, uh, food. food. <laughs> Somebody to take notes. Yeah, coffee. And, and a, a reliable alarm yeah. clock. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, like, there are some days where, like, this is bad influence as a teacher. It's okay not to go to those 8.30 because usually those ones are, like, the classes that are really so <laughs> I'm gonna but, put something here don't listen don't to listen us to like a warning sign or something yeah <laughs> but, but yeah it's um find your outlet yeah these that's are the years that like I found who I really am so that's the find itself searching years more like it yeah so so I think enjoy that's it yeah I think that's basically it for mm -hmm. our advice yep. um so how the series is gonna happen is I'll do some myself and then <laughs> once Jackie moves up to the Arctic um yeah. I'll be back once a month and yeah we, we can, can do, do it, it or we'll Skype yep I was thinking of maybe doing like a live thing too yeah. and then saving it but yep. we're gonna try and tailor these towards though. new teachers just yeah. like us yeah. um, especially the new teachers that are just starting university mm -hmm. So if you've somehow stumbled across this channel, I'm going to be putting it on YouTube. Yeah. Um, ask us questions. Put messages down below. Subscribe yeah. wherever the subscribe button may be. Wherever. Yeah, wherever down it there. goes. But um, <laughs> a a put some. Ask us some questions yeah. related to what it's it's like being a first year student or you know the, our experience going out there. We'll try and answer so, your questions yeah. as best as you can yeah. because we're first year teachers. Yeah. And so, we're not, you know, and like tenured. We don't know everything. Yeah. So and we're just getting out there too. But we're just trying. We want to help others who are, who are going to be in the same boat as us and go through the struggles and enjoyment times. So. so. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Got attacked by a butterfly. A butterfly. <laughs> That's what happens when you're in a park. So subscribe, 
pop some questions yep. down below and we'll try to answer them as best as you can. Um, I think this is going to be the only one for July because yep. I know you're going to be super busy yep. getting ready to yeah. move. We'll to the, wing it. Yeah, we'll, yeah, wing, we'll it. wing it. Um, I, I, I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to say you're moving to the Arctic because that's <laughs> almost where you're going. Um, um, but yeah, so um, we'll try and do our best with yep. videos. They're not going to be a lot, yep. but the, we are going to have videos from time to time. Yeah. So subscribe. Thanks for watching us. Yep. And we hope I edit this really good. Um, yeah, I'm just, oh, that's like the fifth cop car I have seen in yeah, this park. So um, we're going to go because she's got something to do. I got <laughs> something to do. So thanks for day. joining us and uh, have a lot of fun. I wonder if we should put another Tupac song at the end. I think we should. We'll keep that a common theme <laughs> until like Tupac's people threaten to sue us. Yep. So have a good have a good one guys. Awesome. Bye.